Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from domesticatedme.com. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, bienvenidos. Please take this opportunity to hit that subscribe button and click that little bell button right next to it so that you can set on your notifications for all. That way you will be notified whenever my videos go out and I make new videos every single week and cover everything from beauty to fashion to travel to vlogs to DIY projects and much more. Today I'm back with a DIY home project. I haven't done this in a while. Usually I do these for the blog, but I'm so excited to share this with video because it's by far my favorite DIY home project since my faux marble kitchen countertops, which I will link in the description box below, which is one of my most popular videos. So I'm so excited to share this one because it just came out so great. And it's beautiful, it's really lightened up my room, and it was cheap, which is the best part. So let's talk about these TV stands. So my TV stand is two Ikea stands put side by side. I purchased them from a neighbor, so I got them really, really cheap. I didn't even pay full price for these pieces. And their setup was the same setup that I had. They're side by side and I have my TV on. I live in a pre-war apartment building. And one of the best features about a pre-war apartment building here in New York City is that you have beautiful molding on the walls. So that is one of the reasons why I am not able to put, or I don't want to put a TV on the wall because it would break up the molding. It would take away from the beautiful walls. And also the way my living room is set up is that it's living room, but also my dining room area. And so it's not from already, you will see, it's not symmetrical because of the way that the room is set up. But also I use my walls to display art. That's how we enjoy art, we love art, so we want to display our art and keep our TV on a stand for that reason. So just in case y'all get curious about that part. Um, so again, I have my TV sitting on those two IKEA TV stands. Now, originally my room decor was a lot of brown and because I only have two windows and it doesn't get a ton of direct light because of, I'm in New York City and the way the buildings are set up, uh, I really wanted to change my decor to really brighten up the room. So this, just doing this one IKEA hack by changing this dark brown color into what I change it now, the color that it is right now, it really brightened up the room. I can't believe how much it changed the room, how bright it is now. So again, this was pretty easy to do and very cheap to do, which is the best part. And I wanna share it because I think it came out really well. I'm really happy with it. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was I cleaned up the stand. It's always, I, I, yes, it's a no brainer, but sometimes I just wanna reiterate it because sometimes there's residue and all of that can, can really affect the way that contact paper adheres to the wood. So I just really wanna reiterate that do your best to clean, to get any, any, you know, anything that's sticky off of it, keep it as clean and neat as possible before we go on to the contact paper. Now, when it comes to contact paper, I've worked with a lot of faux marble, but for this piece, I actually wanted to go with a faux white wood finish to it. And one of the best things, best tips I can offer you is to make sure that you get paper that is as wide as possible. If you don't have seams, if you don't have to attach two pieces on the same surface where you're creating a seam that um, where you can see it or you can get, you know, it, get, it will get dirty over time. And so that seam that at first isn't very visible will become visible. So measure your furniture and try to get contact paper that is larger than the width or length of your piece so that you don't have to worry about seams or attaching multiple pieces to one side. I really loved this contact paper. It is white faux wood, but the wood markings are almost golden-y. So I really, really love that. I will link to this contact paper in the description box below so that you can check it out or purchase it if you wish. So here I am applying the contact paper to the furniture. Again, super easy. This contact paper is very thick, very sturdy. So it was perfect for this piece of furniture. One of the things that I'll recommend, it's just gonna turn out much better, is if you really take it apart, remove all of the little brackets and pieces because again, it'll just make things easier. I know it's a little extra time that you're gonna put into it, but it'll come out better.
Another thing that I did to this TV stand is that I removed the pegs from the bottom, which were silver toned originally, and then I spray painted them gold to go with my aesthetic. The back of your TV looks like a hot mess like mine, then I definitely recommend this power strip and cable management box. And I use this kit to help me wrangle up the wires and cords. And finally, here is the before and here is the after. As you can see, it came out super well. I'm really happy with it. Again, it was super simple, super easy. I am so happy with this project. Again, it, it changed my room. It really brightened it up. So if you live in a place that is a little darker, doesn't have a lot of sunlight, this is one of the things that I can recommend that you can do. It's easy, it's quick. Did I mention it was cheap? Please like this video and share it. It really helps me out on YouTube. And again, use that comment section below to ask any questions. If you're curious about anything or confused about anything, I'm happy to help. Or if you have any suggestions for my next DIY project or just any requests in general, let me know or just say hi because I love to hear from you guys. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay tuned.